Scotsman Inn, the first time I ever drove by it, I thought that place looks haunted. Did someone just turn off? The, the camera just turned off! <gasps> Thank you. Yes, we're here, but... Oh. Four? Four? Yes, how old she was! Four! Flashlight turned on! Hey, Ghost Riders, it's Exploring Harley. Tonight, I'm in Pictou, Nova Scotia, Canada. I'm in what is called the Scotsman Inn. The town of Pictou is the first Scottish settlement here in Nova Scotia. They arrived on the boat called the Hector in 1773 and settled here. This here building was named before the Walker Inn, Auberge Walker, but now it's called the Scotsman Inn. It was built in 1865 by the great great granddaughter of James II or James I of England, James II of Scotland. And it was a general store at first, and he had, he had the bank, and before the bank next door it was open. And, uh, well, to tell you a little bit more of the story of this magnificent building and this magnificent town, well, there's, something, there's somebody more qualified than me to tell you about this story about this place. Here she is. It's uh, the settlers from the Hector. Um, they came over in 1773. There was 189 of them on board the ship, and that is kind of sort of the base foundation of our town. Uh, there's still a lot of people who have ancestors that came over on board that ship. Um, and this area itself is a lot of history as far as the Scots go and uh, the Mi'kmaq element to it as well. Um, there's a lot of activity here back in the day because it was a big ship building port at one point in time. Uh, a lot of people came through. There is a U.S. Embassy that used to be based here, so it was a bustling place at one point in time. Um, it's much quieter now. It's uh, that, that kind of, those days have kind of passed for the town, but a lot of the architecture of those days is still here. So a lot of, you have a lot of old buildings, you have a lot of history, um, and where, anywhere you have that, you're going to end up with ghost stories. You're going to end up with, with uh, elements of the unexplained in, in certain things, for sure. Hey everybody, and welcome to the Scotsman Inn. An interesting building built in 1860 to 1865. It was built originally for the great-great-great-granddaughter of James Stuart IV, King of Scotland. So a lot of history here. It used to have servants' quarters on the top floor. The owner's accommodation was on the next floor, where I'm at right now was the formal dining room and entertaining area, and downstairs were two shops. There's a lot of history for all you ghost junkies out there. There's a rumor we have a couple of spirits. Touch wood, they happen to be nice and friendly. We have a lovely little girl that sometimes shows her face to a few guests, and apparently there's an old lady. Unfortunately, I have never had the experience, but maybe I'm not that good enough. But we had a, had a few people here that expressed the feelings, emotions, and we've had guests and stories and letters written that people have seen a little girl in the window. I'm Kim Moser and I'm a paranormal investigator. Also, I am a director for a number of TV series. My first encounter with the Scotsman Inn was roughly a year ago. The whole town of Pictou itself is a strange and creepy town. It's almost like it's set in time and to an extent remains pretty untouched. The Scotsman Inn, the first time I ever drove by it, I thought that place looks haunted. So when I actually had to go to Pictou for work, I reached out to a local friend in Pictou and she had recommended that I stay at the Scotsman Inn. This had nothing to do with anything haunted related. I ended up reaching out to the owner and just asked if there was a place to stay. There was. Great. Happened to ask them 
by the way, is your place haunted? And upon first conversation, they really didn't think it was. Turns out, I stayed there, didn't really have any experiences. I ended up staying there again. I talked to the owner after the first night that I was there and I said, hey, this is what else I do. I'm a paranormal investigator. Would you be open to the idea of myself and a team coming to see if your place is haunted? I totally believe it might be and there's a chair at the top of the stairs that I feel like something or someone is near. And that's when the owner of the inn and his wife kind of brought up a couple of pieces of information that I said, oh my gosh, this place is definitely haunted. So the first thing that they mentioned was their dog. So their dog normally wouldn't get spooked out by anything. And where their living quarters are in the inn is on the second floor. And they would always keep that door closed if they had guests and open if they didn't. And when they ended up first moving in, that dog, would get upset, it would bark, it would stare at certain things in the corner of the room that neither one of them could see. Fast forward a little bit, they ended up getting a psychic medium in as a guest and she provided them with this pretty detailed letter about who she thought was haunting the place. Marcella had a husband who worked at sea. She always worried about him because he was gone for a few months at a time. She said part of this fear came from losing her father and first love at sea, but she said it would be her husband to come home and lose her. Stupid, she said, carrying too much. So much work, long hours. She was tired. She died a few hours later. Her mistress was kind, but liked things done a certain way. Her husband was hard to please, so she worked hard to do a good job because once in a while he complimented her on her work which really pleased her, even though it was very rare. He had an important role in town politics. The room at the top of the stairs was hers so that she could watch the harbor and look for the ships. The room that faced the town was supposed to be hers, but the head housekeeper wanted that room. She was a bit of a busybody so that she could watch the street. She started working here when she was 13 and around 16 when she died. Her younger sister also worked in the house. She could have been pregnant at the time of her fall. She had a son who stayed with her mother. The house was more of a home. She was here more than at home, especially when her husband was at sea. It kept her mind busy. So when I received that letter and I looked at it, there are a couple of things that, you know, kind of ticked off the boxes in terms of my spidey senses. I was definitely feeling like there was a child around and I was also feeling like there was maybe a woman around as well. So then myself and my paranormal investigation team, we ended up doing an investigation there and immediately, right before we actually started to get the cameras rolling, I felt this tingle on my leg and I couldn't really discern what it was other than feeling like it was a little hand from the, underneath the sofa coming towards my calf and just like kind of like grabbing it and like kind of grabbing my clothes as if a child would to get your attention. So I stopped for a moment and I was like, uh, I'm not ready to start filming yet because there is something going on here. So my friend Holly, she's like, okay, let's get out our cell phones and let's start recording this because this is weird. So in... <laughs> In the term, in the time of us starting the conversation with the cell phones going, rolling, recording, she said, weren't we just talking about a television show that featured children? And I was like, yeah. And as soon as she said children, I felt it on my leg again. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's happening. I feel it again. So this kind of like cat and mouse situation happened for about five minutes. Then we went and we conducted our investigation and one of the members on the team, Kristen, was feeling this like overwhelming sadness and feeling of loneliness. And we went to one of the rooms upstairs. So it was the second floor, the first room on the left. 
she sat down um, in the mirror. There's sort of like a little dresser there with a mirror. So she sat there and as she was sitting there, she just like welled up with tears and she was talking about her child. And it was really hard for me to watch because I knew what that letter said um, that the psychic had provided the owners, but I hadn't told Kristen. So that kind of threw me off a little bit. And then I started getting this overwhelming feeling of anger, which I've investigated a lot of places. I'm going to say I've probably investigated about 60 to 65 locations and I've never been angry. But that night I was so angry that I, as soon as we were done filming, I closed my door and went to bed. And I can honestly say that has never happened. I wanted nothing to do with anybody on the team, which is also a very, very odd occurrence for me. And looking back on it now, I kind of wonder if it may have been the feelings of the woman the spirit of the woman who maybe was angry that we were still there and we were kind of poking the bear. I don't know what to attribute that to. Myrus. Myrus, M-I-R-U-S. Start. My, my cameras are rolling. Okay, let's turn off all yeah. the lights off. And... My cameras are rolling. Uh, guys, this is a gift from Chelsea. And it's a... Some protection. Yeah, it's a homemade protection oil by me. So, rub it on my... Right there. There you go. I'm protecting myself. Ooh. Brown. brown. This is, the oil is brown. <gasps> mm -hmm. We've been having words, guys. We have two spirit talker working. I have uh, the music box over there. Uh, I have, you know that I won't use the K2 anymore. Sorry, I will turn the camera on this side. Sorry, guys, there you go. I uh, just... Yeah, sure. Trust me. Trust me. That's what it says. Here, Charles, I'm just gonna get you to hold that. It's recording. And I will open up the. Uh, you know what? I just wanted to make that awesome. Yeah, no worries. 14 sugars. That's you, man. So we have a D, the EDI right here. I'm gonna show you guys, sorry. Just placing me. Okay, so right here we have the EDI. I have a spirit talker right here. We have music box right here. We have to be really careful because the floor is really sensitive and we have another spirit talker here. But I want you guys to look at this. Okay, I don't know if you see the word or the name Billingsgate. And the, this place was named, well, it was the Walker Inn before becoming the Scotsman Inn. So <laughs> that's really relevant. Ferocitas. Ferocitas? Ferocitas? No, Ferocitas. And on this one, look at the words. And if you notice, you have the word Bellator. Adult! The devil is here. Oh. Adult. adult! Adult! I have adult right here. Adult? Yes! It is said it's a little girl that passed away. That's right. I think it was one of the servant's kids. Yeah. 
And this one said, the devil is here. Could be someone trying to scare us. Do you think we are devils? Mm. I think it's also important to note that today is a full moon too. Yeah. Nimbus. Nimbus? Nimbus. And it's written the, the same way that is in Harry Potter. Mm, unlawful. Like, unlawful. Unlawful? Unlawful. Unlawful Nimbus. Did someone just turn off the, the camera? The camera just turned off. No more. Yeah. That movement, that's us. Yeah. I'm gonna shut the movement off. So we'll have the EMF, the pressure, the gyroscope. Obscurus. Compass Obscurus. Your camera turned off. Yeah, we have to start my videos. <laughs> we'll, um, hey, I think we'll have to have a computer close to do some yeah. research on the world. That's good. That's good. Idea. All right, so right now we are in the complete darkness. We're going to be starting it very soon, but what we're going to be kind of going over is something that my friend Kim, well, Chelsea and I met. Um, Kim a long time ago and she gave us one one yeah. Now what I didn't know about the spot what the oh, I can talk what I didn't know about the spot is a long time ago a Psychic came and my camera just shut off again. Oh my second. god. It's the second time <laughs> Holy crap Why is he doing that? All right, so I think pretty soon we're going to be starting our investigation, but I want to go over something because our friend Kim sent us a note of a psychic that left it here. And she left this whole note here saying something to do with how a woman was worried that her second husband was going to be left out at sea. And she actually lived up here. It said by her, literally said, She really wanted to please her husband because he would compliment her, blah, blah, blah. Um, the top of the stairs, the room at the top of the stairs was her, was hers. She could see the harbor and watch for the ships. Um, second time. The room that faced the town was supposed to be hers, which is one of these two. So I think it was, which was one of the rooms. Probably more this one. It was yours, right? To check on the harbor because the harbor is, yeah. is that way. Mm -hmm. And it just, it's weird because... What? Fold? Fold. And burnt here. Hmm. Um, where is it now? So what's interesting about this is apparently she started working here when she was 13 and she died at 26. Mm. So what the locals say is from the windows and being inside here, you can actually see this woman or this girl. And this psychic stayed here. I assume she had very next to little like info at all. And she also had a little sister that was also a worker here. And she was pregnant and she fell and died. Mm. So this psychic, this is what apparently she picked up and... Kim literally sent this to us, and I wonder if we can try and connect the dots and see if these girls are part of what the psychic picked up, you know? Mm -hmm. And also see if, like, earlier on it said oh, Walker. Gruesome. Whoa, whoa. Gruesome. Gruesome there? I mean... No, I won't. No, I won't. No, you won't what? No, you... We're talking about the investigation. Are they saying that they won't come communicate? I don't know. It also said gruesome, which I think is relating maybe to the story you just told about how the woman was pregnant mm. and fell and lost her baby. Yeah. That's is gruesome. that what you were talking about? Turn on my 
Where's my ram pod? Oh, okay. My rent pot is over there. Okay. Yes. Hmm? Yes. I'm angry. You're angry? Oh, why? <laughs> Thank you. <gasps> no way. Can you do that again? Can you touch it again, please? He won't hurt you. Don't worry. Knox. Knox. Can you knock? Or knock on the REM pod? The round pod is where that red light is. That round thing with the middle stick? It's called a ram pod. Call out. <gasps> Call out. Call out. Whoa. Okay. Who are you telling to call out? Green eyes. Green eyes. That was your ram pod. Yeah. Can you touch it again, please? Wait, is this... So, the owner was telling me too, though, that the stairs wasn't actually that staircase. They revamped the stairs and put them there because of the fire doors. Where? <gasps> so, I think that this room could have been the one that overlooked the harbor. Because I'm looking out the window, and all I can see is the harbor. Oh, yeah! See what I mean? Yeah! was moved when they renovated things because there also used to be a second staircase that was leading up to the servants quarter hmm. yeah usually there's always a, a second staircase yeah yeah so you want to do the protection stuff now sure um okay i miss my family oh, oh my god you also hear that bang I think so. Yeah. I don't know if that was actually... I don't know if it was downstairs or what. It sounded like it was coming from back there. But anyways, um, today is a full moon. So I brought like a mini... Mutus. Mutus. I brought like a mini altar with me. So we have an offering for the spirits today. I know it doesn't look pleasant <laughs> at all. Spirit. It's, it's a bunch of like honey and herbs and different things to kind of like activate the spirits tonight and also to like help bring them out. So we have our intentions written in here and a couple other goodies for the spirits. Then, uh, since it is a full moon, I brought my wand. As those of you who don't know, I'm pagan. So um, this just has energy on it to help with the spirits. And lastly, I have Florida water. So this is to help protect us. So Skulls. You... Skulls. So um, we all just kind of wear it as cologne, pretty much, and it just helps protect any protect us against any like negativity tonight. And right. Just make sure we're all safe. All right. So So how do I have to do it? Yeah, so pretty much you just take it and you just put it on like you would cologne. You rub your wrists together in Destination. Circles, and then yeah, it does all its right. job. Well, did you just do yourself? I just did mine. <laughs> okay. So Alright. Oh dude that smells like gin. <laughs> you know, like it's, it's not to drink. Like, it smells good. Like that? Yeah. And then okay. just rub your wrists together. Your wrists. Oh, okay. There you go. On the other side? No, you're good. I'm good, man? Yeah, now hand it to Jeff. All right, Jeff. You're misinterpreting me. <laughs> just got to make sure we're all protected here. Incest. Incest? <laughs> hmm. Sunshine. 
Jeff is double protected because he also put on other protection. Yeah, I put the impious scent. Wow. Now I'm double protected. <laughs> all right. So all I think right. we're all fairly decently good now. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so right. grab the cap. Yeah. Oh, so we have a lot to really work with Patricia. here. We got that note, so. Patricia. Let's start. Patricia Jones. Patricia, Patricia. and Jones. Oh, wow. Whoa. Okay. We had the name and the surname. Patricia Jones, can you confirm that it's you by making any of our devices go off? We have one in the room. We have one in the hall. We have a device here. So if you don't know, the devices are the little gadgets, the little objects that we have oh, kind of placed oh, around. Oh, oh, look. Please get out. <gasps> oh, were you just touching this device? It's going off. You guys see oh, that? Yeah, right? yeah. yeah, I don't really. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see it. Oh my gosh. Oh. That's awesome. Wow. Well, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. <gasps> I'm listening to everything. Should we introduce ourselves first? Or? Yes. yes. That's a great idea. All right. Well, my name is Lamar. I'm Chelsea. Brilliant. Brilliant. And my name is Jeff. Arbus. Orbus. Orbus. What does that mean? I had it on this. Macula. 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 So pretty much tonight, for all the spirits and souls that are here, is we are just here to communicate with you, get your story out, and see if we can just prove that you're still residing here. Most importantly, we're not going to cause any harm. Oh, Whatsoever. Offrian. We're just here to offer some. Offrian. 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 Is it like an offering or something? Oh, well, that could make sense. I don't know. Offrian yeah, in Latin? Yeah. If we're talking to the walkers right now who originally built this building in the bank, can you touch the REM pod that's behind closed doors back Pain. there? Or touch the cap next to it? Did the little girl fell? Pain. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Is the little girl here? That is seen here. It's not just me. Oh. <gasps> so, how many other spirits are here then? If it's not just you, can you give us a number? Yeah, I, I've uh, closed the sensor for the movement. If you're the little girl, are you able to appear for us tonight? We have more steps. And I'm walking. Are you going to walk for us? I don't know about you guys, but I actually feel like someone's with us right now. Yeah. Carol. Carol. Do you hear wind chimes? Probably outside. Mm -hmm. uh, da, da, da. Oh, yeah. I don't know what this feeling is. It almost feels like... <laughs> the battery. The battery, bro. Wow. Gonna... Are you trying to drain our batteries right now? Hot. You're making our batteries hot. Mm -mm, I think they want to play like the hot and cold game. Oh. Hmm. If we 
walk around, can you tell us through these devices if we're hot or cold? Hot meaning we're getting close, cold meaning we're further from you. Hi-ams. 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 We are apprehensive. <laughs> yeah, we're new faces, so that's understandable. Wow. Can we talk to the little girl? The little girl that's supposed to be... Stay. Stay? Stay? And one of them was telling us to go. Are you... Smell. What? Smell? Smell. <laughs> All I smell is that gin. It smells good, okay? <laughs> Wait, the Florida water. water smells really good. We want to talk to the little girl who is seen here. Are you able to appear for us? Could it? No. It's like yeah. compass, but like I've been... No, no, what no. That, no that's not us. That what does it mean by compass? It's somebody who's playing probably with the... There's a, like an internal compass in our cell phones and uh, tablets. So it's probably courage. 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 Why don't you come take a seat on this nice, tiny little short chair? Is that, could that have been me? No. no. Sword. That's not you, because you're. No. What does gyro mean? Gyroscope. Gyroscope. Are you the little girl that's answering us right now? Are you sitting on the chair? Children's spirits. That's awesome. Sanguizuka. What? Oh my god, what if we're talking to the little girl right now? Here, I have a toy for you. Um, maybe you can roll the ball back to me or make it go off. I saw that you made this go off earlier. Pump this again. Oh. Put it right in the middle. Just watch your feet, okay? Wow. Guests. Guests? Gas? Oh, gas. Are we your guests? No, gas. Oh, gas. So if you're the child spirit, who people... <gasps> Did you hear that? that? Lucille. Lucille. <laughs> wow. So we we found a note here that's from a psychic that picked up on a woman here that died at the age of 26. <laughs> and a younger spirit, that was her younger sister, is that correct? Make any of the devices go off if, if you can confirm that. Don't be afraid, we're really nice people. My name is Jeff, I'm a family man, I have kids. I have a little girl, her name trees. is... Trees? What do you mean by trees? Like I was saying, I'm a father, I have a daughter, her name is Gabriel. I have a son, his name is Zachary. What is your name? Can you tell me your name, please? Sense? Sense. Do you want us to sense you? Better watch out. Oh, what do we have to watch out for? Watch out. What do we have to watch out for? Can you tell us? Please? Would be nice. <gasps> no. My, my big battery is already at 24%. You're joking. No. Really? Yeah. And it did say battery. Yeah. 
and it was when I plugged it in, it was a 94%, but those batteries don't drain. I'm supposed oh. to do at least two hours with that battery. Oh my God. Wow, okay. So you're taking energy from our stuff. That's good. You have a light right here. Can you touch it and open it? It's called a flashlight. If you go near it, it will family. open. Family. Yes, I'm a family man. I have a family. Blue eyes. No, my, my eyes are brown. Margaret. Hello, Margaret. I knew that by asking your name, you would tell me. You okay? I don't know. Something's like drawing me to that room. Back. I, think, I think I'm gonna go sit in it for a bit. Back there? Yeah. I keep, like, I think I hear the REM pod slightly going off once in a while, but something's like very much drawing me in here. Oh, warm it is in here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Get in here, man. Why is it? Um, look it. And if you look um, here, there's an imprint on the bed. <gasps> oh, yes. my God. And right the there. The red pod was going off earlier, and what? earlier on, the thing did say sleeping, and then I heard the red pod go off. I think that this room has to do with something of the spirits. You heard that? No, the REM pod, REM pod, REM pod. Can you do it again, please? Just a slight touch. Ceteris. Ceteris. Hey, Charles, I have an idea, though. Uh, why don't I close the door and Jeff and I will be out here. Can you get me my dowsing rods? <gasps> Whoa! 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 <laughs> Oh, that's the fin. Yeah. The wind. The wind, yeah. Jesus Christ. Oh, like someone's Yeah, like somebody was saying, ooh, wow. Can just close the door now? All right, so I had the brilliant idea to um, close you in. Yeah, okay? Yeah. Okay. Hey, Jeff, do you want to go outside? All right. All right, see you soon. See you soon. So you guys, if you want to see, <laughs> if you want to see Chelsea's session, Police. Police. Old. Old? Are you calling me old? <laughs> Where that voice is coming from? Downstairs, probably. Uh, I think it's uh, Sandy. Oh, okay. Probably speaking with some clients. So, so I guess we're running things a little bit differently in this investigation, but Charles is honest. by herself right now. Bro, honest. Honest. Eclipses. What in the... We're honest. We're honest to the spirits. We are gonna be, we are gonna be honest with you. That was not honest. I don't. I know. We just want to be honest with you so you can be honest with us, if that makes sense, okay? So what we're asking is for you to do your best to communicate with us. Sense. Sense, I can. Again! It's the second time we have that word. Four lights. Four lights. One, two, three. Four. Is that what you see right now? If that's what you see, can you make one of our devices go off? Otium. Otium. <laughs> Guys, we will have to. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh my god. That was the RAM pod. Oh. <gasps> Music box. Thank you. Wow. 
Thank you so much. Can you tell us who we're, who we're talking to? Are you the little girl? <gasps> oh. Oh. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Can you verify and tell me what age your, your sister died at? Can you tell us? Use the devices here to tell the number. Oh, guys. Oh, my God. That is incredible. Oh, and we're not moving. No more mirrors. Or sitting down. Chelsea's in the room. And we're not walking around. Nobody, the building is not shaking, nothing. No. Wow. Thank you so much. Ava. I, I was just about tell. can you tell us your name? We. Oui. We? Oui. Nobody talks to us. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Well, that's why we're here. We want to talk to you. Yes. Yes, tonight. Yes, tonight. And tonight it's the full moon, so you can take the energy out of the, uh, out of the moon to gather some energy, or you can take energies from my, from my batteries. I know you already took some energy out of my, my battery. That's good. If you can't tell us the age, can you at least tell us why you hang around here? And can you use English words that are from our day so we can understand you? Unfortunately, we didn't have the chance like you to... I'm going to leave. Permission. I'm going Did to leave. Did you hear me? <laughs> oh, I have a feeling, bro. Dude, I have a feeling that... The voice we just heard is talking to Charles. There's a really big... Okay. It's anime. We didn't have the chance like you guys in your time to learn Latin. We don't learn Latin anymore. Can you use normal words? Vanish. I'm going to leave vanish. And permission. You didn't ask permission, I'm going to leave. Well, can we talk to you, please? We, we're asking the permission, we're asking politely. Can you please stay with us and talk, communicate with us? We want to know your story. We want to know the graves. The graves. Do you want us to visit your grave? I wonder if they're buried here. I don't know in one of the cemeteries in Picto. I could. Are you one of the Scottish settlers here that passed away on the boat or when you got here? If you're talking. Body. Guys, it's Chelsea in the room, body. I wonder if it was. The A settler that passed away on the boat on, the way, on, the, on his way here. Or even here. Or even here, yeah. Can you verify You've been before. Picture. Yes, we're taking pictures. We have cameras. Thank you for the... Re for. Can you go near that red light again? Just to show us that you're here with us, please. That would be muchly appreciated, please. It's like they're taunting us. I know. Like, yes, we're here, but... Mockery. <gasps> oh. <laughs> How do you explain that? How do you explain that right now? Intelligent. Oh. No way, bro. Oh my God. I was... Oh. 
I was just talking about that. Yeah. And it goes mockery. Like, yeah, it, they're taunting us. Mockery. Oh my God. <gasps> oh my God. So when you right. passed away, your body was here. Did you fell down the stairs? I just have a big gust of cold right here. Look at the hair standing on my arms. It's almost, dude, it's like almost right here, like beside us, eh? It's right on me. Put your hand over my my arm. Look. Oh, there is a weird cold. Like right, right here. Right here, not on my this. Asthma. My asthma. It's you, not my asthma, it's M-I-A-S-M-A. -A. Guys, I, 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 we will have to check all those words because I was looking at the words earlier on, but I won't get all night looking this at my computer. Really cool. like, wow. We're talking with an intelligent spirit. We first got in touch with the girl. The that was girl. him. Oh, that was him. Another scare me. The other scares me. Who scares you? Is it another spirit that scares you? The other scares me. Is the other client scares you? By they never, but they never found you. I wonder if they would throw the bodies overboard. Oh, the yeah. Spanish people who died. To the prevent the others to of catching diseases. Yeah. Oh. Did you make your way here to pick though? Terrifying. Oh. Dude, do you feel this coldness right here? Yes, it's it, right it, it's just right there. Yeah. Literally, you guys, here. we have a breeze. It's right here. Oh my God. No, the room where, look, at, I, I'm chilling up. Oh. Dude, I got look at that. Yeah. The hairs are standing on my arms, guys. His? Yes. Palma? Mm. A rampart again. It's just slight touches. It's just like mockery. He's taunting us. What's your name? Stacy. Oh, Stacy! You had the name. You asked for her name. You had the name right away. Stacy Wilfred? Is it Stacy Wilfred? Can you touch that red light to, to tell us that it's. Demonstrate. Okay. Look. That's what it's going to do, okay? When, if you go close to it, it's just going to light up. It won't hurt you. Everything here is harmless. That was my stomach. Can you touch that red light, please? Exposed. Are you afraid to be exposed? We just want to tell your story. We want to show the world that you exist. Argue? Are you arguing with another spirit? To know if you want to, if you're allowed to appear? Is that it? It's my stomach, guys. We just ate. That's wrong too. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Can you give us any more answers? Did you work at the general store when it was a general store? Were you part of the bank? Were you a maid? Were you a servant?
Don't be afraid. Everything here is harmless. Trees. Celebrate. Trees. That's the second time that Spirit Talker said trees. And here, celebrate. <gasps> yes, this year we will be celebrating the 250th anniversary of you guys coming here. This year, it makes, it makes 250 years that you guys came from Scotland and settled here. And once again, guys, Exanimous. 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 Wow. I'm so confused. Me too, man. It's confusing. Look, we came from Halifax. Oh, 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 oh. And I came. I was going off. And I came all the way from Quebec to see you. Do you love Halifax? What? <laughs> Was that a trick to make us move? Trip. Not trick, trip. Trip? P. Yeah. Trip with a P. They made a trip, a boat trip. <laughs> They came here by boat. It's funny because the settlers, some of them stayed here and some of them went to other places in Nova Scotia. So what if one of the settlers went to no Halifax? <gasps> yeah. Are you one of the settlers that went to Halifax? If so, come Leo. Leo. Leo and I know? I know. It's so you went to settle in Halifax instead of settling here. Is that true? Is that it? Can you touch that red light to tell us we're right? If we are? No? Okay then. If you're one of the settlers that stayed here, can you touch that? I don't have any. <laughs> Are you talking about me? Do you find my hair weird? Do you like Lomar's hair? I understand. I worked here. I worked here. here. A general store. Did or, you? Or the maid or a servant. Okay. We're in the servant's quarter. Were you the servants or one of the servants? If so, can you touch one of the devices? The best that you can. Any devices. Whoa. Yeah. It's like they, they answer, they, they touch something, and afterwards they just like, when we ask, they stop. Can you move something? It's just... This is crazy. This is a crazy experiment. Just because this place is not that well published. Emotional. Emotional. Are you the woman that was emotional in the psychic that the psychic picked up head her psychic picked up that emotional woman remember her husband was <coughs> I'm protecting you oh her hu she was afraid of her husband for her husband because he was out at sea remember yeah are you the woman that the psychic picked up 
If so, touch one of the devices, please. I have a device here, but I'm going to move it. I'm going to put it right here. It's called a flashlight. I'm going to put it right here. Just turn it to open it, just like that, okay? And twist it the other way to close it, okay? Turn it off now. Can you turn it off? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now can you turn it back on? If you're the woman that the, that the psychic... And please, can you touch that light and light it up, please? And I would be muchly appreciated. I'm pretty sure you're a nice person. Opera. Opera. Back then, they were listening to lots of opera. Opera singers. Yeah. Classical music. My ashes are here. Oh. Okay. C. <gasps> oh no, okay, it's not C. Oh. Oh. That that's probably me. C like C seeing, not the sea, the ocean. Like but, as in eyes. See. Yeah. And are you still with us? If so, turn that flashlight back on, please. Can you turn back the flashlight to, so it shines? Can you turn it back on? Standing behind you. Oh! I'm telling the truth. Oh! I'm standing behind you. I'm and I'm telling, telling the, the truth. truth. Yeah, she's standing behind me. Are you okay? I like the forest. I'm good. I like the forest. She's standing behind you. The red part just went off behind her. I like the forest and that spirit dog air said twice tree. The, the word tree. A tree. Everybody. So right now we are hopping into Estes method. Uh, Charles is already in, and as of right now, we're gonna try and find out who this little girl is, if she can give us any sort of message, message as to why she's still here, Tormentum. and potentially just get some more closure. Someone's I, laughing. I am so just wanting to get closure. So yeah, that's. Hi. Hello. Who are we talking to? Can you tell me tell us your name? Thank you. Thank you so much. Bien. Bien. Est-ce que tu parles en français? Oui. Oh! No. Bonjour. Je m'appelle Jean-François. Quel est ton nom? Bro, I'm seeing my breath. No way. Yeah. Go. No, we cannot go, sweetie. We're sleeping here tonight. to the little girl. Again, my name is Omar. And my name is Jeff. My real name is Jean-Francois, but everybody comes. <gasps> yes, we saw Shadow earlier on. Was it you? Near the window. You good? You good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the window? Are you the lady that is waiting for her husband by the window? Harbor. Harbor. What? Harbor? 
harbor. Yeah, that's what it said, the harbor. So you're you're I had a bad pass. Oh <gasps> no way! And the music box went off. I had a bad pass. Why do you say that you had a bad past? The music box kept going off, it's man. It's going off, bro. So can, can you tell us your name, please? Is que tu peux nous dire ton nom? Lost. You're lost. I'm sorry. Do you want help? Help. <gasps> oh, guys. Oh. You gotta be kidding me. How can we help you? Do you want a prayer? Do you want us to, to guide you to the light? I'm young. Whoa. I have a question for you. You can answer that, okay? Find me. Oh. Oh. Running. My heart. Running. Can you run in the passage in the hallway so we can hear you? Hallway. Yes, please. Can you run in the hallway? We're gonna listen. Yes. Yes, mom. Bro, mom. It's just a mom. Mom on the spirit box? Yes, M-U-M, like a mommy. Like a mama. <laughs> You're looking for your mother? Talking to Shh. Oh my god. So do you want me to ask the questions? It just got cold around me. Did you just join me beside me? Did you just come right beside me right now? Bro, now I'm hot. I no. was freezing, I was seeing my breath. Did you come right here? I was seeing my breath like seconds ago. Did you just come beside me, yes or no? I'm here. Yes, we know that you're here. <gasps> My battery just went from 100 minutes to 96 minutes and it just and went up to 102. What? Oh I'm standing here. Yes. Can you touch one of our devices to show us that you're here with us? You have a orange box on the on the on the dresser over there. Whenever. If whatever, <laughs> whenever, whenever, whenever you want to do it, you can go near that orange box on the desk over there. You have lights. If you go near My it, baby, they will light up. The woman. Are we talking to the woman that was pregnant? The young girl. My baby. Is the girl that's seen up here with us right now, with the with the child? It's almost like I got some sort Edwardian. of weird I fell. walk right now. Edwardian? Hard. Jeff, Jeff, I fell. I fell. I fell. <gasps> the little yes. girl. Are we talking to the woman that that psychic encountered? Can you give us a yes or a no? Are you the entity that communicated with a lady? A lady that could communicate with her? Called a psychic? I'm losing her. Who are you losing? Your daughter? I know that you lost a baby. We were really sorry about that. Help me. 
How can we help you? Tell us, please. Do you want us to say a prayer? So you can cross over to the light? It's painful. What is painful? To cross over? Or you suffered when Blood. you passed? Blood. Didn't you suffer when you passed away? Look at the temperature, Lamar. It was a 66, now it's a 67. It's going up. It's weird because... It was dropping. Frank. Dude, it's warm beside me now. Frank! <gasps> It's literally warm beside me right now. Come again? Are you making the room warmer? Oh, this is weird. That is weird. So we came from Halifax to figure out who this little girl is. Hello. Are you able to give us any answers as to why you still hang around here? Can you tell us? I just want her. Who? Who do you want? My baby. Just so confirm that you're the woman that fell and died here. So you're the woman that fell and passed away? Why can't I see her? Oh, boy. So you, you cannot see your baby in the afterlife? Is that it? I'm sorry if you don't, if you cannot see your baby in the afterlife. Are the original owners, the walkers, here with us right now? Sitting. Someone was just crying. <gasps> Sitting. Sitting. I prefer the sea. You prefer the sea? Are you the husband that was at sea and died? And passed away. And now you came back to see if your wife is still here. Said something in French. Est-ce que tu peux parler en anglais, s'il vous plaît? Save her. Oui, yes. But can you tell us how we can save her? Do you want us to help her pass the light to cross over? She can hear me. If you can hear, if she can hear you, on the bed. On the bed? Where on the bed? Is, is she at, at the end of the bed? Walking around it. Yes. Are you the Are you the spirit that I just get in? I, wow, this is crazy. It went from cold to hot. Now it is hot all around me. Are you the spirit that I'm feeling getting cold and hot around me? Yes or no? Yep. <gasps> okay. So the woman with the, the girl with the that was pregnant is walking around here. Francis. Francis. Are, are, you? are you the husband that was at sea? Was Francis the name of your husband? To your left. Oh, I'm looking. Little girl. I just got major chills. I'm Chilling up, guys. To her left. Oh! What? Something just touched my shoulder. Like, poked me. Yeah, you're not allowed to touch Chelsea. If you want to touch somebody, come and touch me. 
I won't mind you touching me. No, don't touch Chelsea, touch me. Or you can touch me. You can only communicate through her, okay? Yeah. Like she's offering you, that's the only thing you're able to take that she's offering. Are there any other messages you want? 12 minute, take her out. What's that? My GoPro just shot off. Whoa. What? Bye bye. Ooh. It was good talk. Take her out. Take her out. Arthur. Arthur. <laughs> Whoa. You alright? Someone touched me. I know. We told her to, to don't touch you. Really? Yeah. And I we told him touch us instead. Like, it literally felt like someone just went up to me and, like, poked me. Like, it was really cool. Okay, but guess what? What? We're having a conversation with the lady that is waiting for her husband at the window. Actually? Yeah, and the, the woman that was pregnant, her, um, her sister. So, like, how were the answers and stuff? Like, was it... <laughs> we're having a conversation. We were having a full-on conversation. Seriously? That's yeah. so yeah. cool. So... Jeff started seeing his breath. It was cold all around here. Then it got hot for him. Then it got hot for me. <laughs> I'm not even joking right now. I can't. It's got the shivers. Exaggerate this. This is. Sean, I got another guy named. It's like we had Francis. That guy's name all over the place. We have Francis, Arthur. Francis, Arthur, and Sean, and Frank. Hmm. Four names. Maybe those. Maybe two of them were had something to do with the husband. Important. And maybe one of the Important. other ones. Whoa. Maybe one of the other ones had to do with the man who got the sister pregnant. Probably. I mean, it does take a man to get someone pregnant, so. Well. No, not Mary. <laughs> 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 I'm going in. I I'm going in. Yeah? You're going to yeah. do this? All right. Yeah, I'm going in. I'm going in. So my friend is hopping into the Estes method now, which is basically, basically going to allow you nice. to walk through him. Okay, so whatever you say, he will say to us to help communicate. So help us out and give us any message you have. Dove? Can you tell us who's in the room with us right now? Right? Are you to the right of someone? C'est parti. It's gone. Who was outside the door? We know this town has a history for being very haunted. Are you coming from the town or are you coming from the yeah, inn? Said something in French, but I didn't have time to understand it. Are you a man or a female? Can you tell us, are you a man or a female? 
a boy or a girl? La question, the question. Yeah, so are you a boy or a girl? A garçon or a... How do you say girl in French? C'est tu ga, un ga, garçon ou une fille? Oh, bad, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised a lot of it's speaking French because like we're in a very non-French part no, of... Scottish would not have spoken French. Can the storm? Was there a storm on the boat on the boat? When it's surprised. Wow. Yeah, I mean you guys were pretty surprised when you got here. You were promised all of this good stuff and then you got here and I don't know if you're bumping the the bed, but the bed is moving. I wasn't really touching the bed, but I Are you sitting on the bed with Jeff? I wasn't really touching you. La couleur, the color? Can you answer if there is a there if there was a storm on the boat when you were coming here from Scotland? Hard and working. Hard working. That's right. So yeah. they would have been promised good hard work. Yeah. Money, homes. But then when they got here, there was none of that for them. None of that for them. And some of them even died here. And some of them also died on the boat getting here and were thrown overboard. Even though you were here in 1773, are there some left over that, that come here? Broken? Always have? Kind of like a broken promise. Are you at peace? Conjured. What was conjured? Let's go. Where do you want to go? Are we still talking to the same women? The this women? is home. This is home. Are we talking to the original owners of this building? If you're the original owners, can you tell us your name, please? It's like the spirits aren't very content or welcoming to men in this room. No, no, no. There's nothing. So earlier on, we were leaving our spirit talkers there. You mentioned your name, Walker. Can you come back and talk to us, the owners? A pair liar. Pair liar. What? Do you not like talking to men? Do you prefer talking to women? I don't know, but I keep hearing stuff in the hall. I know, it's like the energy has moved out of here. Yeah, look at the temperature though, it's gone up. 69. Right when we now. first got in here, it was 66. 66 going up to 69. Can you tell us where you are? Or if you want us to leave the room and go somewhere else? I just heard singing like a opera. Do you want us to go in the hallway? Finally? 
Can you give us a yes or no? I'm not like picking up anything in this room anymore. No. No. It's like stagnant. I feel morning. What could that be like morning as in like morning someone? Morning her baby? Yeah, morning her husband. People say they see people up here, see women, see a little girl. Tell us more about yourself. Can you send us a message? There is nothing. Excuse me, excuse me. Make me trap. Are you trapped here? Le contour, the, the, the surrounding. I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of confused. It's been eight minutes. Eight minutes? Yeah, maybe we should take him out. Maybe two minutes. Two more minutes? Okay. Before we go to bed, are there any more answers you could possibly give us to try and get some closure? Try and bring the owners, you know. The ladies? Closure. <gasps> the ladies. Yeah. Get out. Oh. I'm agitated. <gasps> I'm agitated. Get out. Okay, tap him out. I'm agitated. Give me a second here. Are we safe? We're not here the to upset you. The fire, I know, that do another. Do another. We're not here to upset you. We're not here to step on any toes. Um, we're also not here to overstay and kind of cross boundaries. So we will respect you if you want us to leave. Army. Army. Oh my God. And Jeff was. Yeah. Do you know that our friend was in the army? You, wow. Well, that was, That's cool. That was yeah. Just don't something. Are we? Do we still have more time with you? Like, are we? Are we? Hey. Are we stepping on any toes right now? Do you want to continue talking to us? Qu'il l'oblige et est obligé. Obligé to talk to us? You're not obligated to talk to us. We're in your home. So if you don't want to, you don't have to, but we would appreciate it. Is there anything you want to tell the world to get your message out? Your story? You are nice. Who's nice? I'm assuming you're talking about me. La concurrence, uh, competition. Competition. I think you're nice too, and I've enjoyed chatting with you. But can you tell us a little bit more about yourself? How you ended up here? What your story is? That's what we want to know. The French I hear, it's not a French Canadian, it's a French from France. Just saying. So. Are you, are you a Canadian? Ugly. Ugly? Well, that's not very nice. Are you a Canadian? L'armée, the army? Oh! Whoa! And that said army earlier. Okay, so it's starting to connect things. Oh, the army. Are you from the army or are you talking about Jeff being in the army? Just said something but then didn't understand. Did you, how did you come 
to Nova Scotia. How did you get here? Every day. Did you get here by boat? Were you on the Hector? A couple more questions and I gotta tap them out, okay? Yeah. Were you one of the first settlers of this land? Talk about. about something. Whoa, the bed just moved. Yeah, yeah. The bed. The bed's moving. Favorite. I swear to God, I'm just sitting here and the bed just pushed out towards me. It's me. It's me. Wait, wait, wait. Who? Who just moved the bed? Please tell us your name before we tap out, Jeff. Please. The T-Rex. What is your name? You know all of our names. All I'm asking you is just, is just your name. Please. It's starting. Okay, I think we should tap it out. It's been over 10 minutes. Just for his safety. <sighs> Alright bro, we got something to tell you. <laughs> yeah, I gotta cover this camera. Alright, so you want me to start you want me to start with uh, the scariest thing to me, but the most shocking? Get this. Our spirit talker said army. Do you remember saying army? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Army? So some some communicate. Here, they know you're in the, the you were in the army or they are in the army themselves or were. Whoa. Yeah. And then the bed moved a couple times. Yeah, I wasn't touching the bed. I don't know if that was. The bed the was moving like you were bumping yourself in the bed. No, at one point I was like fiddling with the camera. Yeah, I, and I lifted my, my, my blindfold because I thought you were pushing on the bed like to tell me to stop. No. And I lifted, and when I saw that you were adjusting your camera, I just I went back down. Yeah. But and it's like, it's like... I was crisscrossed right here. It's like all the time you were doing this on the bed, on the bed. It's like somebody was doing like this on the bed. Leaning over? Like somebody just was just like... Like hovering over you. Just get, getting some bumps like that on the bed. Oh my God. It's like when you were walking, you were like getting the, the, the end of the bed. You know? Dude, like, I was crisscrossed almost. I and mean, then the bed literally felt like it like shook. Mm -hmm. But it, I, I, at a moment, I felt like somebody was always like bumping in the bed. Whoa! And that, that was French coming in, and it was a French speaking person, not a French Canadian. Maybe so, like maybe an Acadian? Probably. Yeah. Could have been an because it, it was a French accent. A lot of questions all at once from many people. Just focus on my question, okay? Did you die of a breathing issue? Yes. I am Villar. What? Lubilare. What? Lubilare. My mind's wrapped around. Can anyone Google that in the live chat right now? Please. Please and thank it's you. Lubi la re. Lubi, I don't know if it's. L U B I R E. Lubi la re. Can you. Ve. 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 Guys, we're back online because Lomar is doing a live stream right now and we're having. Answers like crazy when the toys are in grads. Um, okay, so earlier on in the night, someone poked me. Was it you, the little girl, who poked me? Just trying to get two. We're all good. Oh! I know you're all nice spirits here. 
So Michelle, that would be spelled L-U-B-I-L-A-R-E. It's hard to look. Oh, the flashlight. Camera will focus yes. on that. And it crossed, so it was a little girl who poked me. Can you uncross the rods, please? Thank you. The dead. Yes, I know. The We're dead. Talking to the dead, that's right. Whoa. Can you point towards Omar? No, 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 no. Are you behind him right now? Yeah, I know. You like teasing him. Why don't you poke him? Give him a good poke. Like, as hard as you poked me, just poke him. <coughs> Can you poke Lomar? Can you smack my ass? It's a child. <laughs> So many levels. I thought we were talking to that older woman. No, no, we're, we're still talking to the sweet girl. I bet, guys. Do, do, like. does having the boys here bug you? Can you tell me, can you point to which boy bugs you the most? It's <laughs> me! No, it's me! <laughs> it's me! Static. <laughs> Static? What? So, oh, this kid hates me now. So, if yeah, I understand... If I understand correctly, I, I don't... Bug you. Can you uh, recenter the rod, sweetie? Thank you. Does Jeff bug you? No? Yeah, it's a no. Thank you. If I bug you, can you touch this? Something Who can help me? Guys, <gasps> guys, guys. Literally, on my life. On my life, someone just poked my ass. <laughs> no, no, no way. No, no, like, no, no way. No. Someone, on my life. Not someone, she did it. No way. I am actually so mind blown right now. Sweetie, did you just poke him? Oh, I got shivers. I have little shivers. Look at that. Oh, I got shivers on there. Oh, I saw the bugwheels run from here. Dude, it's all over my arm right now. Can you uncross the rats? Thank you. So I just want to confirm that it was you, the little girl who poked Omar. That's good. I'm glad that you did that. He deserved it. Oh my god. Can you poke me, please? Can you poke Jeff? You can take all the time you need. We're here all night. Yeah. But will you poke him later tonight? Whenever you feel like poking me, just... Yes, I did. <gasps> yes, uh -huh. I did. I was probably replying to you being. It was. Did yeah. you poke me? Poke you. <laughs> she does. Yes, she you. did. You poked me. Okay, if you're really standing here, can you touch that device right there, please? Don't touch that. No, she's not not with you anymore. Can you point the rods to where you are again? We'll just touch that if you feel it coming back, okay? You're standing at the edge of the bed. Can you turn on the flashlight if you're at the end of the bed? Please? I would really like it. <gasps> the other light, thank you! You went for the other one in the in the hallway. Thank you so much.
But there's a black stick on the bed. It's called a flashlight. Can you turn it on, please? Pressure change in the EDI. I just spotted it. And my camera saw it. Yeah, that black stick, it's called a flashlight. Can you go and touch it to turn it on? Equal. Yes, we're all equal. Can you uncross the rods? I'm going to count. And I want you to cross the rods at whatever age that you are, okay? I'm going to start. One. Two, three, four, four. Can you uncross the rods, please? Okay, so I just want to confirm are you four years old? You're the same age that my daughter, Gabriel. I'm sorry it will happen to you, sweetie. Are you at peace? <coughs> Do you like to play jokes on the guests that come here? Yes. Do you poke everyone who comes in here? Liam. Liam. Liam, are you a part of the grounds here? Are you connected to what this once was? So, can you touch that device right on the ground right there? That was me, sorry. Liam is more an Irish name than a Scottish name. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. A picture of Liam and Ginger. Mm. Red hair, red beard, bushy eyebrows. Could they have had some? Audrey oh, here. Audrey oh, here. What does that mean? Please, somebody, if you can look it out, it will really help. And please, if it has any connection to Ireland, I will shit myself. <laughs> because we have Liam talking about Ireland, the flashlight turned on, and that working. I was executed. I was executed. <coughs> Were you? Oh. Liam, if we're talking to you, were you executed? Touch any of the devices here. If it's not Liam who was executed, who was? The noise was me. Which noise? Can you do it again, please? Because there are certain spirits that are coming and going very quickly. I think a mirror, a certain mirror, has something to do with it. But there's spirits who are coming in and out. Is that true? Touch the device down there. It's true. Is there a light on in there? Mirror right there. 
is there a mirror behind that door? Mirror right there. Oh, wow. This room could be the portal room, which would explain why it's so active. What? Wait, open that fully? Oh, move my, my God. camera, guys, because... If this was open up fully, look at that. The mirror's the right door there. doesn't matter. I know, but just for instance, sorry, Jeff, I, I just mean like, if you take a look, right there, if the door, let's say the door is wide open, there's a mirror. The portal can still be open with the door closed, though. Right there. Yeah. The energy can go through doors. Can it? Yeah. The door can't stop anything. So, I just realized I had the door in my back and it was the bathroom. I just wanted to see the layout of the bathroom and there's the mirror. Okay, let's see. Is there a portal? Can you recenter the routes? Thank you. Is there a portal in this room? There you go. Hmm. Can you uncross? Thank you. I'm going to ask one more time just to confirm. Is there a portal in this room? We don't mean harm. <gasps> <laughs> Thank you. To confirm that there's a portal in this room, can you turn on the flashlight? Please? That thing right here, can you turn it on? No, not here. <gasps> <laughs> Where? Where do you want me to put the flashlight? Outside? Seems it. On the chair? Usually my rods don't answer other people. That's interesting. So I moved the flashlight. Can you turn it off now? <laughs> Usually. Usually, yeah. So can you turn it off now? It's right there. I've put it where you, where you asked me. Going off, it's going off. Thank you. Can you turn it back on, please? Please. If you're one of the two ghost women, can you turn that back on? She wants to make snow angels? She just to it do said it. snow earlier. Yeah! And she just picked up the girl wants to do it. Four? I literally just started making snow angels. Four? <gasps> you asked how old she was. Four! <gasps> Flashlight turned on! Confirmed. She's four. Oh my god. This is wicked, man. This is a great, great investigation night. <laughs> I'm having fun. Guys! Guys! Look! Four! And the flashlight turned on. So you were four. Can you turn it off, please? That's outside, right? Someone's having a fight? Look, guys. <laughs> <gasps> it turned off. Turn off. <gasps> Look. Four. I don't know if I 
see it correctly. Go. Four. Wow. Thank you so much, sweetie. Oh. That was crazy. And it's really cold right here, right now. Can you touch that little ball right there? It makes pretty light. It's just, it, it's not like this one that's just a light. That, this one has blue and red colors. Can you touch it? You're gonna see it's really pretty if you put all your energy into it. It's gonna light up many- Conspectious. 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 Wow. I think we're all getting so tired. We're, I think we're, we're getting drained also. They're draining our stuff, but they're draining, they're draining us. I know. But I, I don't, I, I feel tired, but not that tired. Yeah. It's weird. It's like you, they're draining our energy, but like not enough for us to go to sleep. Yeah, because I feel beat up. But it's like I want to carry on because it's like yeah. we have something, but it's like a, they're sucking everything, out, every ounce of energy we have. Are you taking our energy? Did you die in the winter? Can you turn on the flashlight if you passed away in the winter? Oh, I missed it. Oh, turn on more. Turn on more. Yeah. Which is why she said snow, which is why she made me do snow angels. She used to really like doing snow angels. Oh! So you passed away in the winter? I'm so sorry, sweetie. Wow. It would make sense because some, sometimes some people's asthma and breathing issues does get worse in the winter. Guys, where I'm standing right now, it is freezing. Which would also make sense why her temperature is continuously dropping, right? If she passed, she away, passed away in the winter. winter. It's Wendy. Oh, Wendy. Wendy. Wendy or Wendy? Wendy. Like a wind. Wow. Probably on a windy night. Well, it's windy outside. Mm -hmm. Are you talking about the wind outside? Can you turn on the flashlight if you're turn, talking about the wind that's outside? Oh yeah? There's dust right here. So... It's very nasty here. Very nasty where? What? Why do you say that it's nasty here? Was the servant's quarter not beautiful as it is today back then? Is that it? When you passed away in the winter, was it a windy night? Stormy? A stormy night? Can you turn on the flashlight if, if, if it was a storm the night you passed away? No? It was before Christmas. Did you pass before Christmas? A couple weeks before Christmas? <laughs> no. Thank you so much. Wow. For those who say, you know, it's, it's the O-ring that it's expanding. It's making the flashlight turn on and off. Why it wasn't going off for the past 15 minutes? Thank you, sweetie. Caligo. What? Caligo. K-C-A-L-I-G-O. 
G-O, Caligo. Can somebody search it up, please? <laughs> so you passed away just a bit of before Christmas. Didn't even let me finish my sentence. <laughs> I'm sorry, sweetheart. Oh my lord. She likes you. Probably because I have a daughter the same age as you are. Is that she it? She doesn't like Omar. <laughs> <laughs> she said I like him, not him. Is it because I have a daughter the same age as you are? Can you turn on the flashlight? Please? I like him, but not enough to hide out the... Arthur. Arthur? We had that name earlier on. Yeah. Was Arthur your father? Was that the name of your dad? Arthur? Can you turn on the flashlight if the... Your daddy's name was Arthur? I don't think so. I don't think she knew her dad. Didn't know your dad? Is that it? You didn't know your daddy? I'm sorry. That or he wasn't around a lot. She knew him, but he wasn't around. Was it a sailor? Was your daddy a sailor? Did your daddy go out on the water a lot? In the sea? If so, turn that flashlight on. <laughs> she said I won't do it if you ask. Vernon. She <laughs> doesn't like you. Wow. Vernon. Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> Jesus. He doesn't like you. He doesn't. <laughs> Thank you. Was Vernon your dad? So your dad's name was Vernon. And you didn't saw him a lot. So a psychic that left that note said that he was big in politics. Who? Turn off. The, the man that was at sea and the woman here. The hmm. ghost woman here. So the little girl that we're talking to though isn't related to those two women. Wait, is it the daughter? Are you the daughter of one of the servants? That passed away here in the house? Thank you. So, was the daughter of the servant? I think there was a couple servants. Victor. Victor, again? <laughs> Names. Who do you think is back? Who is Victor? Can you tell us when that box who is Victor? Did Victor just arrived? Thank you. It's cold again. So Victor, were you a sailor? Think. Can you touch that again back there if you're a sailor? <laughs> Can you do it a third time if you're a sailor? 
Again, please. <laughs> it's like I did it twice. Like, come on. <laughs> you got this. Spe sepulchrum. Sepulchrum. What? Sepulchrum. It's getting more weird. Yeah, it's almost, it's like I'm getting so drained now. I'm Me like too. I'm sleep now. Guys, I think, I think I'm going to wrap this up. This investigation, my video, <laughs> I think I'm going to wrap this up because I think we have plenty and wow. Everything we had. This spot we really tried to work with something that's not publicized. Yeah. Miracle. That's what we did, a miracle. We were doing our best to get answers, our best to contact the spirits that are so often claimed to be here. Like we were doing our best, guys. It's not easy sometimes. We're but. drained. We're drained completely. It's... Oof. They're taking an er our energy, they're draining our batteries. It's like, you want us to communicate? Well, we need energy, so yeah. we need energy. So I think I'm gonna wrap this one up. Windy, Windy. again. Again. Hmm. Windy. Windy again. Hmm. So. <laughs> Guys, thank you again for being here. That was a great spot. The place is called the Scotsman Inn. It's in Pictou, Nova Scotia, Canada. Come and see him. You know Lomar and Chelsea. You know them. All, everything is gonna be down there in the description. You guys, I love you guys. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. And like always, I'll catch you Taylor. on the next paranormal adventure. Bye-bye. See you guys.